Is it recording? Are you recording? Eh. Eh. Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Norm as always. I mean, it kind of is my name, so it's not going to change. So it's always going to be Norm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome back guys. I know it's been a couple of months since I've done a video. I will explain all that to you. But before I go any further, please, please, please press subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I will be very, very, very grateful. Thank you and God bless you. Right, so why have I not done a video for the last couple of months? So obviously you know that I went through my surgery and I'm now still in the recovery process. It, um, it honestly has been a lot more difficult than I, I thought it would be. It has been so, so tough. Um, in my head, I told myself, you know, we have the surgery, you know, give yourself a few months and, you know, you'll be good to go. Life will resume. Things, you know, things will just be so good. And uh, I'm six months post-op and um yeah no it's not happening how i thought it was going to happen um yeah which is which is really really tough uh, i am improving don't get me wrong you know um but i am not where i thought i would be um the pain hasn't decreased um in the way that i thought it would you know it would at this stage i mean my doctors keep saying that i am on track and you know they knew that it was going to be a long recovery at least a year um so i still got some time to go and i hear that i hear them saying that but i think me and myself and i um i had told myself that you know it was going to go smoothly which it is going smoothly but it was going to go quicker let me say the word is quicker and it isn't going as quick as i thought and i had a fall which put me back and my doctor said i've put myself back a few months recovery wise so it's um it's been a lot to reconcile with honestly i can't even lie to you guys it has been really really tough um but uh I don't know like I don't even know how to describe it I think uh, well in my head um, you know prior to the surgery I was like okay go to the surgery you know a few months and you're gonna be good to go you're gonna finally get to live the life that you've wanted for so long the life that you deserve and um, it's not happening that way um, that's not saying that it, it's not going to happen it's just it's just not happening right now and I think that's what was really hard for me um, honestly the last couple of months it feels like I have been grieving for the life that I thought I was going to have um, it, I can't even put it to words but that's the best way that I can describe it it has been so emotional it has been so tough um, you know and I'm just I'm trying to keep myself together because as someone who has gone through mental health struggles before I know how easy it is for you know for it to go wrong so that's why I've taken some time because I said to myself you know what for me to be the best version of myself I can't I I can't um, you know I can't pretend like what I'm feeling um, I'm feeling or what's happening with this recovery isn't happening so take some time and really concentrate on yourself and um, you know and allow myself to feel the disappointment that i was feeling the anger that i was feeling the you know the the thought that this was it it was not going to get any better the thought that um you know i've made the, the worst decision of my life going through with the surgery like there was just so many things going on like literally the, the reason why i call it grieving i feel like i've gone through all these stages of grief um and i'm still i'm still you know trying to figure it out i'm still trying to listen to my doctors and tell myself that you know it, you know you are within you know the time frame what you are you are within the in the right track and you know you will get to where you know you're hoping to get to you just need to be patient and kinder to yourself and think that's what i would tell someone if anyone ever has to go through this surgery or anything any kind of surgery or anything in life um well that requires healing be patient with yourself take some time for you and know that you know it may not be happening the way that you thought or want want it to happen right now but it will happen just be patient and just look after yourself so that's what i did i just took some time to look after myself and to and to really understand why i was feeling the way that i was feeling and um you know and still remain uh, grateful and still remain um 
um you know persistent in you know in believing that it, it will happen it, it is going to happen I've, i don't believe that god has allowed me to go through all this for nothing um you know even if it's not for me and this is one thing that i truly believe and this is what pushes me every day even if anything that i go through isn't for me but if it helps even just one person if it does something for somebody I'm okay with it. I, I, ca I can live with that. That is okay. I just need and want to know that um, my struggles and the things that, you know, that happened to me are, are for a purpose, are for the good of something. Um, so, yes, that's what's been happening the last couple of months. Um, but, yeah, I am... Um, I'm trying to get myself, you know, um, back to doing my videos. Because honestly, I love doing my videos. I love the encouragement that you guys give me. So please keep it coming. Anyway, the, this video, I'm going to show you guys my before and after x-rays um, of, my, of, my, of my hip. I'm also going to show you my scar. Um, yeah, so that that's just it really so i did um a question poll a questionnaire poll on instagram to see if anyone would be interested in seeing my x-rays because i honestly am fascinated by them i think they are so cool so weird but yet so cool so i thought let me ask if anyone else wants to see them and the majority of people quite this has been this was the highest rating i've ever ever received any for any votes i've ever received on my instagram polls but yeah um pretty much everyone <laughs> said they wanted to see them and i got a lot of um you know um, messages people saying they were so excited thought it was interesting so i thought okay so i'm not the only widow out there so here we go full disclaimer i am not a doctor nor am i in the medical field so i'm going to explain it to you guys the best way that i can to my to the best of my abilities and the way that i remember the doctors explaining it to me so if you watch this and you're in the medical field or i say something incorrectly or there's a fact that is halfway there or not quite right whatever it may be leave it in the comments help us all but i'm going to share with you guys the best way that i can so here is my scar guys um it is a little bit long um it does go around the back here a little bit more um but yeah here it is um it's healing really well i still have um some tenderness and um loss of sensation over here just a little bit um but it is definitely coming back because it used to all you know no sensation but i have quite a bit of sensation back this side it's just here towards the end that is a little bit weird um but it will come back in due course um but yeah he um that's my surgery um scar i did used to have another scar before that was from here till about here um but it was literally like this thick it was crazy um my surgeon when i woke up he was so pleased with himself he said to me i fixed your scar for you um it looks much better it looks much neater because the one you had before it just wasn't great was it okay it's a bit longer this time but it looks much better um and he wasn't wrong it's definitely a much um much better um scar i don't know if you can see it but up here this little scar here was for when they put the drain uh, so after the surgery, I woke up and I had this drain that was basically draining out blood and um, stuff, gunk basically. Where obviously I didn't have the, I don't have the heat there anymore. They had to clear it out to make sure I don't get an infection and other stuff. So that was my little drain hole. Um, and yeah, that's my surgery, guys. Quite long. I hope um, the angle is good. But yeah, there it is. Right, so I've had to crop it to hide some sensitive information as well as hospital information, but I'm going to show you now um, what I can, the best that I can. Now, um, so, <laughs> this is my pelvis um, x-ray. So, those who know, um, just by looking at it, even if you don't know, you can tell that something is probably different or not quite right. So, it uh, ordinarily should be a little bit more out there so on both sides there's been a little bit more of a, a curve inwards um this side um as well as that side but this side is more so the more problematic than that side this side isn't causing me much problems um now this is the right um the right hip now just by looking at, at them comparing them to you can see the difference like on this side you can see the um the shape of the bone Whereas on this side, you can't hardly see the shape of the bone. This basically shows you um, how badly deteriorated that hip was. Um, 
you know the more gray means um you know better bone density and you can make out the shape of the x-ray whereas this side you can hardly hardly see it and on here as well you can see all the gray which i believe is the cartilage whereas on this side there's there's nothing there's nothing there so basically the ball had completely collapsed into the socket um so it was just born on born rubbing uh, with every movement even without movement it was excruciating i hope um by seeing this you can somewhat understand some of the pain that i was in um so yeah this was just bone on bone rubbing and obviously the bones this side just badly deteriorated literally down to crumbs down to nothing which is also another reason why i was in so much pain this right here um on the mouth what where my mouth uh, mouse cursor is cursor i don't know what it's called um is uh, a rod that is in uh, that was put in after i had my big break at the age of 12. um yeah so you can just see that this hip really was just not in a great state um at all it was just a mess there was here it was literally just lodged in um there was no movement um you know so my hip was basically stuck in place it collapsed in and gotten stuck in place oh so this was um where's my mouse cursor gone this was the before and this is the after i've cropped it just so that i can concentrate on the side where the um the um the surgery was done so you will see that here you've got the connection and the ball socket in its socket the ball in its in its socket and after surgery um one <laughs> it's no longer connected um there's no connection here and there is no ball in the socket so yeah so basically they cut the hip um and removed the socket completely so the um the femur is no longer connected to the pelvis um, by um, a hip joint. So I no longer have a right hip joint. So you hopefully you can understand why the surgery was so big um, and difficult. And also my surgeon, um, we had agreed that he was going to take out this ball and he will let me see it. But he said when he was in his surgery... Um, first of all, the surgery took hours more than it was supposed to. He said it was so lodged, uh, it was lodged in so badly that once he cut here, um, it wouldn't come out. They had to, he had to chisel it out um, bit by bit. And by the time he was done, it was literally crumbs on the table. And um, they tried to do some repair here. So you can see that it has um, a little bit more of a shape. Um, still with my rods in of course um, but yeah so I have no right hip joint anymore now um, you will also see that it, it was um, so this was connected here but it has gone up a little bit because it's no longer attached to anything so I have lost a little bit of height but it's not much it's literally just about that much um, but which you can't see when I'm sitting. It's only when I stand up that I see that, okay, there's a little bit, literally a little bit of height difference in my legs because of um, the lack of connection. Um, now, over time, what will happen is um, scar tissue is going to form here and in here and basically reattach the bones via scar tissue, um, which, is, which I think is pretty cool. So basically, my body is going to regenerate itself a whole new hip <laughs> and they say the scar tissue um is strong is you know besides the bone it's the strongest thing that the body regenerates itself and um over time i will um and shoot hopefully by the grace of god if my body heals the way it's supposed to regain ability to weight bear now currently i can sort of kind of a little bit but i can't put full weight on it because there's still um quite a lot of healing to, to go and i i can't um put too much weight on it because i could risk uh, the doctor said pushing this bit all the way up because there's nothing holding it or stopping it until the scar tissue fully grows um so i have to be very very careful so yeah so i guess um looking at it it does make sense why my recovery is taking you know as long as it is because 
basically my body has a lot of healing to do um a lot of um nerves have to heal because a lot of things there you know were cut in order for for the um for the bones to be removed and you know muscle has to to heal and regrow and there's just so much that that has to happen for this hip to get to a place where one i can see the benefits of the surgery and two um actually start to feel better and um and get to where hopefully we are hoping so yeah that's the Where's my mask? I said, God, it keeps going on me. Come back. Let me show the people then. Yes. That's the before. And that is the after. Um, yeah. I hope you have found it as interesting as I have. So there you go. Those are my bits, my x-rays and my scar. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find, found it cool or weird or ick or whatever it was. I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's it. I am just going to keep going on this journey and keep bringing you guys um, updates, real life updates of my life and um i'm gonna continue doing more videos for you guys if you have anything specific that you want me to speak on or to address or whatever um, or to show you uh please leave me my comments uh, e email me dm me whatever is more um it works better for you but yeah thank you guys for watching this video i'm grateful i thank you and i will see you in the next video bye